Morning guys, I'm coming to you from my driveway with a basketball goal challenge. I've got two systems here, the Pro Dunk Platinum on my left and the Mega Slam 672 here on my right. I did a lot of research online and found that these were really the top two systems on the market. These are both 72 inch models. They also have the rust armor protection and they're the same price at $17.99 each. So the question is, why do I have two of these in my driveway? I bought this house, I did a full renovation and realized it was time to upgrade the basketball goal system. My plan was to donate the old goal to my church and get a new one for myself. Unfortunately, when I pulled the old goal down, it was just a little too damaged to, uh, to donate. So this is what you see now, two systems, one for myself and the other that's gonna go to the, uh, to the church. So the nice thing here is I actually did already have a anchor system. It's about 15 years old from the old, from the old goal. That's the old anchor system. It's still in great shape, and it's, uh, it's uh, functional with both of these systems. So I'm going to pause here for a second. We're going to open these up, and we'll be able to take a look at these side by side and see what we think. All right, guys, we're back. And as you can see, we are unpackaged. Um, you're going to notice right out of the box there's some pretty significant differences just in the padding between these two products. Over here we have the Mega Slam padding for the pole. And this is the Pro Dunk padding. Uh, the Mega Slam padding is at least two inches thick, and this Pro Dunk padding is about an inch. Not just the thickness of the padding is different, but also the quality of the of the material, the finish. Um, also, even the stitching is quite a bit better on the Mega Slam product. Beyond the padding on the the base is the padding on the poles. The fit and finish on the the Mega Slam product is just a lot cleaner. Uh, it's just more tailored to fit correctly versus the Pro Dunk uh, Platinum pole. Uh, the padding just doesn't hold up quite as well. Now, beyond the padding is the pole itself. Um, online, you can read about it, and the Mega Slam mentions that they have a five gauge thickness steel versus a seven gauge for the Pro Dunk system. Now, that could be a little difficult to see, but what's not difficult to see is when you look at the base plates on both of these products, the Mega Slam base plate is quite a bit thicker than the Pro Dunk base plate. Uh, not, not only is it thicker, but the Mega Slam also has additional gussets, just to give you that much reassurance uh, in the structure and support of the, of the pole itself. So let's go down here to the end, to the end cap on the Mega Slam pole. What you're going to notice on the end cap is that there's actually a stainless steel end cap plate. What's nice about that is this is exposed to sun, but this is an area that is fully sealed and you really don't have an issue to worry about with rust or anything getting inside the pole. The reason I mention that is because if we walk down here to the ProDunk pole, I was surprised to see that they use a plastic end cap. And um, I'm just thinking in the hot sun, I don't know how well this plastic end cap is going to hold up. Beyond that, though, is this, is, this actually gives you visibility to the inside of the pole. And what I see here is based on their zinc plating is that there's not a whole lot of protection, even if you get the rust armor when it comes to the inside of that pole. There's already a little bit of rust you can see here around some of the weld points. Uh, this is in comparison to the hot dip galvanization process that Mega Slam uses. When we look inside of the Mega Slam pole, we can actually see that it's clean, it's silver inside, it's as, it's as shiny as a new quarter. So let's uh, move around to some of the other pieces, but this gives you a good idea about the pole differences. So next up, guys, we have the backboards. Now these are both MBA regulation 72 inch backboards. They're also MBA regulation half inch thick. Um, but that's where the similarities seem to stop. We've got the Pro Dunk backboard here on the left and the Mega Slam backboard on the right. Now the first glaring difference that I didn't really notice or appreciate online with the Pro Dunk system is this H frame. What you have is this black H frame steel that's behind the glass backboard. So Aesthetically, it's not the most pleasing that you have your white letterbox for your shots, but you also have that H frame that you see in the back backdrop versus the true clear view that you get with the Mega Slam product, seeing no, uh, no frame out as you're, as you're taking your shots. Also, something even a little more important uh, is the way the rim is designed to hold to these two different backboards. The Pro Dunk system uses a, kind of a 1980s NBA style where there are drill outs in the glass. So the glass is actually sandwiched between the rim and the frame, as opposed to Mega Slam that laser cuts the glass, gives you a true connection between the rim and the frame without the glass uh, being involved. There's also a nice thick rubber gasket that's on here too to, 
to help insulate. All right, guys, so we have flipped the uh, backboards around to take a look at the back sides of these. We have the Pro Dunk on the left and the Mega Slam on the right. And there's some pretty significant differences in the way these are constructed when you take a look at the back side. So Pro Dunk here uh, uses this H frame. They claim that it gives a, a better rebound response online. Um, when I have this here in person, I'm not quite sure how that happens. There's actually a gap between this uh, steel H frame and the glass. Uh, this is probably about 12 to 15 inches wide. So this is the main support that this backboard is getting along with four brackets, four metal brackets that are uh, screwed in and look like they're held with silicone. Now this is in comparison to the Mega Slam uh, backboard, which actually uses steel to encompass the entire casing of the backboard. So you've got 72 plus inches of steel all the way around this backboard to uh, fully support it. It just gives you more of an NBA feel, uh, more of an arena feel with the uh, complete construction of steel all the way around the backboard. Okay guys, so moving on from the uh, pole, we have first the lower extension arms. Uh, both of these lower extension arms from Mega Slam and Pro Dunk are, are solid heavy pieces uh, that, that I'm sure can handle a lot of weight. But the big things that I notice here are where the backboard actually attaches to these extension arms. You'll notice on the Mega Slam extension arm that the backboard connections actually go through both arms versus Pro Dunk that actually welds a piece, a thin piece of metal onto the extension arm. Um, I'm concerned about the thinness or, or thickness, lack thereof, with these extension arms versus Mega Slam. Moving down, there's a, a bumper sticker on the Pro Dunk product, which I don't know how well that's going to hold up over over 20 years. Mega Slam actually gives you a nice decal that looks like something you'd find on a new car. You know, speaking of new cars, if you're going to buy a BMW or a Mercedes, you expect a good paint paint job as well. And just looking at the finish of the paint on these uh, extension arms, the powder coat on the Mega Slam just seems to hold up better and have less imperfections than what you see on the Pro Dunk um, lower extension arm. Also, even the weld points just look a lot cleaner on the Mega Slam product versus the Pro Dunk. But lastly, once again, once again, we've got these plastic end caps on the Pro Dunk product. You can actually see some of the plastic isn't even fitting all the way in versus having a stainless steel end cap on the uh, extension arms of the Mega Slam product. So the next piece that comes after the lower extension or the upper extension arms, um, the thicker ones are the Mega Slam product. These thinner extension arms are from Pro Dunk. Um, you can see it's about half the thickness um, of the uh, Mega Slam product. And once again, I'm surprised to see plastic, more plastic on these upper extension arms uh, versus stainless steel on the end caps. So that's the uh, extension arms in a nutshell. All right, guys, so coming towards the home stretch, we have the rims up next. Um, the Pro Dunk rim is on the left and the Mega Slam rim is on the right. Now, once again, this is actually the third component from Pro Dunk where I've had some concerns about the powder coat finish on the rim itself. Um, for being straight out of the box, I mean, if you were buying a brand new car in a showroom, you'd be pretty upset about your paint finish if it looked like this uh, being brand new. So we've got powder coat issues again on uh, another Pro Dunk component. Also, there's some big differences in the construction and style of the uh, of the netting. Um, the Pro Dunk system uses kind of an 80s style hook setup for their nets versus being able to have a clean loop that gives you just a cleaner, smoother finish on the Mega Slam rim. You can actually screw it in and change it out. So that should even make uh, changing out nets uh, quite a bit easier. But also, well, why did you buy this goal? You bought a goal because you want to be able to lower it uh, or raise it and you want to be able to slam on it. Well, what's important there is the breakaway design of the, of the rim itself. So Pro Dunk uses two vertical shocks the mega slam system uses two vertical shocks but also a horizontal shock that you can actually adjust with a wrench that comes with it uh, the value here is you can uh, change that breakaway to uh, to break away at different amounts of strength uh, depending on how tight you want to set it so overall it's just a little more customizable and that's what you'd expect in an 1800 dollars goal all right guys we're down to the final two pieces of our basketball goal comparison uh, lastly, we're looking at the springs and actuators for the Pro Dunk and Mega Slam uh, basketball goals. The springs are a wash. Um, I can't really tell the difference between either one of these springs, uh, but there are some differences with the actuators that control these springs. 
We have the Pro Dunk actuator here on the left and the Mega Slam one on the right. Right out of the box, the Pro Dunk handle is a little scratched up um, versus the Mega Slam one that has a nice clean finish. But also, more importantly, is the handles themselves. The only way you can lock the height on the Pro Dunk system is to actually use a, a padlock to lock in that height once you set it on the on the basketball goal. Now, what's nice about the Mega Slam product is you can actually have a quick release and pull that handle off when you've got it set at the height you want. And that could come in handy if you've got kids and you're, they've got the goal low and you're worried about your car. Well, yeah, when you're backing up, you've already got that goal set at the height that you want. Um, lastly, when you look at the internal construction of these two actuators, the Pro Dunk seems kind of raw. There's really no finish on the inside of this actuator versus uh, the Mega Slam product that has a, a sealant, a protective slick coat um, that's got a good slippery smoothness to it to help prevent that rust and help it last over time. All right, guys, I hope you get some value out of this side-by-side -side comparison. I know it's a little difficult to just uh, go online and compare items that you know you're going to have for the next 20 years. Hopefully being able to see them in this setup uh, shows you some of the differences. The bottom line is the ProDunk product has great specs, but unfortunately it's a little homegrown when it comes to its fit and finish. The Mega Slam Plot product just gives you a more complete finish and a more professional feel and look that you'd expect to have at your home for the next 20 years. And as you can see here, the winner in my house is the Mega Slam Goal, but really there's no losers here. I'm sure my church is still going to enjoy the uh, ProDunk basketball goal that I've pledged to them as well.